Most of us have heard of the ingredient gelatin at some, some time or the other. The uh, technical people obviously have dealt with it as a subject in their studies. Regulators have uh, been dealing with the issue of certification of gelatin and consumers obviously have uh, come across it at some time or the other in terms of its halal acceptability or not. Gelatin is said to be the smoothest ingredient that binds things together. However, paradoxically, it is also one that has given people the rough stride in terms of halal certification and regulation and it has been a subject of debate among certifiers and scholars for a long period of time. We hope to share our experiences and shed some light on information with regards to its history, the sources of gelatin, its application and the labeling jar that it, it hides under. What is gelatin? Gelatin is one of the most versatile food ingredients, substantially pure protein obtained by the th thermal denaturation of collagen, which is the most common and major structural connective tissue in the animal kingdom. It is an easily digestible food protein and it is free from fat, calories, carbs and cholesterol. It has an extraordinarily wide field of application in both the food and non-food categories and it also serves as a supplementary source of protein and a collagen source for dietetics. Is gelatin an ingredient that was now developed in the 20th, 21st century? No, gelatin has a history of <coughs> centuries, but in fact many, many centuries, into thousands of years. It is significant to note, however, that over the centuries, the process of boiling and cooking meat and bones, thereby producing collagen, and gelatin has been as prevalent many centuries as it is today. However, recently there are more advanced processes that are used to produce a more purer and better quality of gelatin. We look at the history, 5,000 years ago, Egyptians boiled bones to produce glue for furniture manufacture. In the 1100s, it is recorded that Hildegard recommended broth from both calves' feet to be administered for joint pain. In the late 1600s, a pressure cooker pot was invented to cook bones until they become soft and it is reported to be the first, the first jelly made from bone which made industrial manufacturing of gelatin possible. In the early 1800s, the French pioneered research into methods of manufacturing gelatin and possible applications where it may be used. It is famous that Napoleon Bonaparte, the famous French general, uh, recommended that gelatin broth be made and used as an ingredient, a protein ingredient for the soldiers during the time of war. In 1818, a company by the name of Cornet C and Lyons became the first industrial manufacturer of gelatin. And in 1845, Peter Cooper, an Englishman, patented the first gelatin dessert. In the late 1800s, gelatin was introduced to the photographic industry, which saw the establishment of gelatin plants by the photographic industry to meet their photographic needs. 1890 was the first household gelatin that was made available to consumers and the famous jello gelatin was produced in the year 1897. In the 1900s, early 1900s, marshmallows were developed with gelatin. In 1930, gummy bears were born which is still a favorite amongst both, both adults and children. Uh, in the 70s, it was introduced into yogurt manufacture to assist with stability and improve uh, appearance and shine and sheen of yogurt. In the 80s, it was introduced into margarines and pro processed cheeses. And up to now, the development of uh, uh, gelatin into different applications continue, where it is also entering into the, uh, uh, the pharmaceutical field, obviously for a long while now and also where gelatin companies are adding value by making skincare products as well as 
joint de degeneration medication. What are the sources of gelatin? Pig skin, cattle hide, pig and cattle bones, poultry and fish. There is no vegetable gelatin, as is commonly misunderstood by people. You don't get gelatin from vegetable source. It is all from the animal kingdom and marine life. The sources of gelatin, skin, hide, bone. These are some images of raw materials. It is important, however, to note that the majority of the gelatin manufactured globally is from pig source. And you will see the graph that follows. Approximately 60% of gelatin is said to be from pig source. 44% from pig skin and an odd 15% from pig bones. The second largest source of gelatin is, is, is obviously your uh, cattle. The third largest, or not the third largest, but the, the odd number that comes thereafter is poultry and fish. A very small quantity is produced from these three species. Which are the countries that produce gelatin? If you look at this graph, Western and Eastern Europe together produces almost 65% of all gelatin manufactured globally. North America produces 20%, Latin America produces 17%. I'm not going to go into the details of the production process, which I'm sure our learned esteemed colleague, uh, Professor Abdullah Kurt, will probably go through the details of the manufacturing processes. The type A and type B gelatin, one is with hydrochloric acid and the other is made with an alkaline treatment. The main markets of gelatin, the food market, 63% of gelatin goes into the food market. Photography and technical, we have approximately 27%. The pharmaceutical industry, about 5%. Nutrition and cosmetics, about 5%. The areas of application in the food industry varies from your confectionery items, sweets, toppies, marshmallows, dairy products, yogurts, desserts, beverage industry, juices, milkshakes, in the meat industry as aspects, in the margarine, uh, processed cheeses, and also in the food ingredient industry. A simple ingredient like beta carotene uh, was also found to be encapsulated with pork gelatin. Jelly beans, nuggets, Turkish delight in South Africa that a company makes also has uh, a gelatin. Fortunately, the locum that we have in Turkey is free from it, or so we are told. Uh, confectionery and ice cream products, we generally would go to a mall and not even be consider uh, considering the fact that the ice cream that you buy may be containing pig gelatin. Desserts, biscuits, cakes, whipped cream, even biscuits with, with cream centers were found to contain gelatin. Beverages and the dairy industry, you will find 100% apple juice. But the clarification process, the technical and, and uh, uh, people involved with, with engineering, food engineering would know that to clarify your bread and, and uh, apple concentrate base, gelatin is used as a declarifying agent. Dairy products, the yogurt industry, generally over the years people would go to the shelf and pick uh, a tub of yogurt off the shelf, not even realizing that the product you're purchasing is, is, is not only dairy, it has animal ingredients. Margarines, butter spreads, possibility of gelatin being used as a stabilizer. In the pharmaceutical industry, we know of the capsules that are made, hard and soft capsules. As a tablet binding agent, suppositories, joint care products, it is however a highly digestible uh, ingredient and it serves as a natural protective coating for medication which makes the bitter taste go away and makes the medication more palatable. It's also used as a health dietary supplement. In the pharmaceutical and nutraceutical products, it serves not only as an excipient but it is also an excellent source of amino acids. It is also very commonly used in protein drinks, which are very famous and growing in the community, and in nutritional bars uh, eaten by the health conscious.